Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. I'm afraid there's a bit of a problem with this review video. I was going to review the Loxley Excalibur Darts, but they got stuck in a stone and I'm just not worthy enough to get them out. I've been trying, they just won't budge. So I don't know what I'm going to do. What? You want me to try? You think you can get them out, do you? Mm, be my guest, have a try. He thinks he can get them out. I'll put them on the floor and see if you can get them out then. There you go, stranger. Watch this. Piece of piss. Oh, thanks, mate. Is your name Arthur, by the way? No, it's Rocky, you daft cat. <laughs> Rocky! He's such a potty mouth. Let's check him out. So I'm reviewing the 22 gram version, the 95% tungsten, they're also in 24 gram in steel tip, there is no soft tip and the retail for £56.95. So the darts come in this slim cardboard packaging and got a nice picture on the back of there of the sword in the stone and a kind of ominous looking red sunset inside plastic inlay and the darts are fitted into a point holder and supplied with the Loxley in between nylon stems and a set of standard shaped flights again with that kind of red sunset. The darts fitted with a black quarter point you've got a tapered nose but it's kind of like a front tapered style wide at the front and then tapering towards the rear but it's got quite an interesting mix of kind of flat rings and then these kind of curved scallop style rings but the sections where the scallop is you can see like the curves creating a little kind of a, a pointy part so you get a fair bit of grip on that bit and then you got a kind of a smooth ring and groove grip again and then more scallop towards the rear um, so it may be a dart that can suit all grips whether you're front mid or rear gripper if you like a front weighted style and looks quite nice with those rainbow PVD colours quite a good looking dart and they're fitted with the Loxley in between nylon stems and these quite striking red sunset standard shape flights so you've got a tapered nose and that front part is it's more or less a, a flat section just with fine grooves although it looks as if there's rings but they're so like flat and shallow it's just more groove i think but as you can see it's got the pvd color in the grooves and then as you move along you've got this mix of kind of scalloped rings now the two blue ones are, are, are narrow and the one in the middle is a little bit deeper and obviously wider and then as you move along it kind of like reverses you've got a silvery ring either side and then the, the blue one is wider again so another scallop but then this section here which i thought was a straight parallel ring grip it looks as if it's slightly curved so almost like a very subtle scallop there so it's made of a ring and groove grip again with the pvd coating in the rings and then on the rear you've got a mix of uh, different width scalloped sections again and then a smooth section on the very end with the Loxley logo so there you go that's the super close look at the Loxley Excalibur darts that's fit with a black coat 27 millimeter point you've got a smooth tapered front that's five millimeters and then a kind of a flat ring and groove grip that's 7.5 millimeters and then you've got these different width kind of scalloped rings that's 11.6 millimeters and then another kind of a 
a ring style grip but it's slightly curved so it's almost like a middle scallop that's 8.3 millimeters some more of the scalloped rings on the rear 11.3 millimeters smooth section on the end 6.5 millimeters length is 50.2 millimeters and widest is 6.8 millimeters that's 22.30 grams 22.35 grams and 22.40 grams full setup 24.24 grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights It's only the kind of pointy parts on the scalped rings that give a bit of grip really, so 5.5 at most. Oh, treble 1 champion. It's almost getting the treble 5 on that one. Mine is the treble 20 on that one though. Is it terrible <laughs> I'm not holding it completely at the front I'm holding it in that little section with the kind of a scallopy rings it's got quite a nice feel there it's just a little bit further up the barrel than where I would probably naturally sit but I just like the feel of it there oh 140 <laughs> now it's funny with darts, I mean these are 23 gram and yet they feel light and sometimes I get other 23 gram darts and they feel heavy. I don't know if it's just down, just down to the way they're balanced but it is a weird feeling sometimes. But obviously these are a little bit front heavy simply because it's wider at the front but i think the way the shape of the dart is as well and the way it sits in your fingers especially around that section it kind of just makes you feel as if you're holding pretty close to the balance uh, it just has a nice easy feel to it treble five jump in one last go from that and then I'll try from the middle and from the rear. Oh, there's another 140, but yeah, that section there, it's got a really nice feel, like I say, but it's just a little bit further up the dart than I would prefer. If it was a little bit closer, I think it'd be spot on for me closer to the nose that is so i'm going to try well roughly around the middle i think i'm just mostly on them the rings in between the two scallopy parts right throws quite nice from there so if you're a mid gripper and you like a front weighted style um, holding it that section there though not a lot of grip but you do feel like the edges of the two scalloped rings either side but I think the scallop rings are not particularly grippy but because the the edges can I like, curve up it feels like you've got a pronounced ring and I think that's where the grippy feel comes from try the rear section now that rear section is similar to the front but obviously the dart gets a bit thinner there. It feels a little bit more front heavy. But still flies okay from there. So for rear grippers as well, it should be fine. But 
very nice start. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the priestly feel at the front, but I think a much more comfortable dart to hold. I'm not a, really a fan of the, the slightly bulbous shape on the Priestleys, whereas this one just sits in the fingers really nicely. Oh, that's two. I played this yesterday with the ballistas and I went double one, double two, double three. I thought, yes, what a good start. And then I never hit any more doubles after that. <laughs> I thought oh, I couldn't capitalise on it. It's annoying when you do that. Oh, there's another one. Ah, oh, that's three. Four. I think that's in. If it is, then that's five. Oh, inside the wire. Yeah, that was in, so double eight. That was five. trying too hard now. Get nervous when I get to five because I only need to get three more to beat my, my seven. Oh, there's another one. That's six. Oh, wrong one. In the double two and not the double 15. Oh, it's close. Not gonna do it. Still only six. No. Oh. Oh. It's another seven. Well, there you go, seven. <laughs> Nice start. Oh, knees seven points. <laughs> Thanks. 
35 points. I'm not sure, but I think that may be the most so far. I think I should have had more than that. Had too many treble fives there. <laughs> Two points. Seven points. Eleven points. Oh, another treble five. <laughs> so that's 52 points, I think. <laughs> well, 125, 25 points. Two twenty five, fifty points, seventy five, six starts. Another twenty five. Uh, what was that? Seventy five, that's a hundred, nine darts. Yeah, got a bullseye. So that's a hundred and seventy-five, twelve darts. Another two twenty-five. Uh, what did I say it was? <laughs> I just forgot. Uh, I think that's two hundred and twenty-five, isn't it? <laughs> So the Excalibur moves to the top of the table on the 30 at 20. All right, so there you go. That's the Loxley Excalibur. Quite a nice start, actually. Um, it's quite a nice one if you're a front gripper and you like a front weighted feel, but I do like the feel of that section there. Like I said in the, in the main part, I just wish it was a little bit closer to the nose because you just get a little bit more grip from there. There's not as much grip on the very front ring grip there it's only then like scallop parts where they kind of meet and they've got like a like a kind of a wavy edge but 
I think it'll work whether you're a front mid or rear gripper as long as you like a front weighted style but uh, quite a nice looking dart as well just a pleasant dart to throw so there you go I'll leave you with the gallery but also I want to know I've been doing these uh, reviews with, with the challenges for quite a few now so I need to know whether you think I should carry on doing them in one video or should I put them in separate videos maybe do the review as before make the review shorter and then do the challenges in a separate video or do you prefer it all in one video so let me know what you think so like I said I'll leave you with the gallery if you haven't signed to the signed if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and I'll see you in the next one happy darting